everybody, and welcome to Just Ask Freeman. I'm your host, Paul Gephardt, with my special guest today, Mr. Freeman Owen Jr. himself. Good to see you, my friend. Good to see you again, man. I tell you, this is a wonderful experience here to, to enlighten our viewing audience. Uh, I tell you, I'm, I'm, I'm really enjoying this because uh, yeah. uh, Just Ask Freeman brings forth so much good information uh, to our viewing audience. Mm -hmm. They can take it. We can provide the quality of care, that, that's what our firm puts, the quality is presented there, uh, and our clients pick it up. Yeah. And hopefully today, yeah. uh, those who are viewing this show, Just Ask Freeman, yeah. will take advantage of this opportunity. It reminds me of my favorite saying, you know how you make an old friend? Wow. Start by making a new one. Exactly. That's what we're doing today, mm -hmm. right, Freeman? Exactly. We're going to make some new friends. Are we going to get started? Yeah. Are All you right. ready? All right. I I'm know ready. you get excited, I'm so I'm ready to go when you are. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready when you are, buddy, okay? I tell you, I'm ready for it. So today's show, we, we want to talk about, because you brought some, I thought, man, this is really, this is powerful. Mm -hmm. Expectations versus reality. Mm -hmm. What did you mean by that, Freeman? What a, what's, you know, there, I, I know that in, in previous shows, we talked about how media sources Ugh. social media brings yeah. forth all types of stuff and people get confused yes. they need to know the truth absolutely and they have the expectations well if i do this 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 will occur a lot of times it doesn't mm -hmm. you have to face the hard reality when it comes to retirement one of the steps that we can begin with is calculating the necessary income needed for retirement okay yeah uh you know this is no plaything. Our life expectancy gets out there 25, 30 years of retirement. Yeah, and isn't the biggest question people have, how can I be sure I never outlive my income? Isn't that what's on most people's mind when they get to retirement? Exactly. Right and what we do is, our firm, is we look at some of the, even the little things. Um, I, I'm going to talk about this. I'm going to give you a preview. Okay. All right. In debt, age 60 plus. How do we get there? I don't know. You know, uh, when we have to calculate our income that will last, we benchmark. If you're earning a six-figure income now, do you need 60, 70, 80% of that? Are you still paying a mortgage? Did you refi? Mm. Now, you're 60 now, and maybe you have what? Uh, college loans. I was just going to say that. What if you put your kids through school? Yeah. Not only the first generation, but the second, too. Grand, <laughs> the, <laughs> grandparents. The grandbabies. Yeah, that's yeah, it. that's so true. Yeah. So, you, you, you know, the, the reality is you, you, you can't take this for granted, no. you, you know, your retirement. Uh, you have to look at reality. Yeah. Hey, I made the mistake of refining too many times. Right. Yep. Uh, I'm, I'm 65, 70. Uh, a refi, 30-year fixed, uh, you're, uh, I'll be 106 years old still paying the, the still mortgage. With the mortgage, yeah. Exactly. It's true. It's true. Uh, so the, the reality of calculating the necessary income for your retirement lifestyle is, is critical. Yeah. And, folks, if you really want to know, just ask Freeman. Get a second opinion, Paul. Yes. If you're, you have income-producing assets in excess of 250, 500,000, a million dollars that you've accumulated and you want to keep safe, just ask Freeman.com mm. or call me at 833 uh, 414 7233. And then what we'll do is an assessment. How much income will we be needing during our retirement journey? So you get to help folks figure I that can out. Figure that out. Yeah. And you have multiple sources of income. Yeah. Or uh, I should say of uh, you know, income streams. Maybe you're, you're, you are lucky to have a pension. Yeah. Among the 7.2%, mm. okay, that's all of companies that offer a pension. 
in, in the 80s, approximately 89 percent, close to 90 percent uh, of all the companies in the U.S. offered a pension. Can I ask you a quick question about pensions? Sure. How, is import how important is it for a person to get in control of those pensions? It is, you know, it's, there are so few. Um, it started with the inception of the 401k back in 1978. Yeah. And we saw over time, 89, 75, 60%, 15% of companies that offer a pension. Yeah. Uh, so what happens? We're thrown into employer-sponsored retirement account. Paul. Right. No training. No training. And we're kind of at their mercy with it, right? Because <laughs> yeah. it's their plan. It's their plan. We've seen the match sort of dissolve. Mm -hmm. It went away. Uh, there was X number of, uh, or X percent match with, with your contribution. Mm -hmm. We've seen that go away. So it's important, Paul. We've got to determine how much money do we need? What would carry us through 25 to 30 years, even maybe 40 years of retirement? And let me elaborate on this retirement when it comes to calculating that necessary income. Okay. Personal experience. Now, I mentioned it one time uh, on a previous show that we're educated, but no one shared with us how to invest. I remember being, uh, uh, being from Columbus, Ohio. Uh, my parents would go to Ohio State Bank. Okay. And open up a savings account. Yeah. And get a toaster. <laughs> yeah. And my siblings and I would get a little card. You put 25 cents in it okay. or a 50 cent piece. And that would be your Christmas club. And that was the extent of financial literacy. Wow. Now, my, my father, a, a steel worker, mm. he knew savings account. Because I remember uh, uh, late 60s, he, he called me and says, I got a CD. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was double digit at that time yeah, yeah, right. on interest, yeah. but that was the extent of financial literacy yes. to so that I could carry on, mm -hmm. all right, through school, yes, having an education. But in my twenties, I had no, I didn't understand how to uh, invest, mm -hmm. plan for retirement. Mm -hmm. Estate planning was out the way. Mm -hmm. And I was utilizing those funds the wrong way. I got paid, and you were 20-something years old, and you just spending money. Yeah. You don't necessarily, necessarily plan at that age. During my, that time, uh, I was learning about how money works. Uh, you're not planning for retirement. No. You don't estimate how much you'll need yes. in retirement. Now, here it is. 35, 40 years later. Yeah. Believe me, uh, my wife and I, and so many clients that I've helped over the last 40 years, we know how much money we'll need approximately. We got to take into in account of inflation, yes. again, increased health care costs, mm -hmm. skilled care, minimize taxes, yeah. reduce or completely eliminate. Uh, can I ask you a question? Because you yes. got you said two things there that mm -hmm. I want to ask you about that mm -hmm. I think is important for the viewers right. out there. The first one you talked about is employer pension plans and the fact that they're in control of that. Mm -hmm. Okay, and I, I'll share a personal story with the audience later on that right. subject, uh -huh. which is why it resonates with me. Something happened to my dad. Oh, okay. Okay. I'd like to hear that. But you yeah. also mentioned retirement and how a lot of folks, you know, don't talk about it early on in life. But that makes me think. Shouldn't we start really thinking about our retirement earlier? I mean, yes. Is it? Is there? A, is it? Could you ever plan for retirement too soon, Freeman? That was. That's a great question. I was uh, asked that question on a radio show recently. Uh, when is it too soon to start thinking about retirement or contributing toward it? I figured the very first day you get a part-time job. Start saving money, mm. okay? Understanding how money works. I've done um, a couple of uh, financial literacy webinars for young people 18 to 34 mm -hmm. and helping them avoid costs and mistakes during their, their run in college, mm -hmm. inundated with credit card debt, uh, school loans. Uh, age 25, they owe $150,000, $200,000 just in college loans. Yeah. 
uh, which impedes per, uh, major purchases like homes, even forming a union. Mm -hmm. You, you, it's never too, uh, for my, uh, let me put it this way, uh, for my grandsons, taught them, save, mm -hmm. pay yourself first. That's right. Okay. Start from where that. you stand. Yes. Uh, uh, one latte less this week. Yeah. Instead of, or a per day, or you may get one, go to Starbucks in the morning and then get something later on in the evening. Yep. Let's, let's take, just one, just have one uh, latte um, per day instead of two. Two, yes. You multiply that times five, that's ten. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, so you know what I'm wondering? How could a person figure this out? Just ask for him. Just ask for him. Call us at 833-414-7233 and get a complimentary consultation. Complimentary. Get that second opinion. Mm, powerful. Starting where you stand. Yes. Um, again, if you want to know how to calculate the necessary income for your retirement lifestyle, call us at 833-414-7233. Yes. Just ask Freeman. And there's only so many spaces available because a lot goes into these consultations. Mm -hmm. I've seen people charge upwards of $1,500 for sessions like this. Mm -hmm. Freeman's agreed to open up 10 spots. Get your spot right now. Pick up the phone. Put your name in the book. 833-414-7233. Just ask Freeman. We're going to take a quick break. We'll be right back after these messages. As a good saver, you've been putting away money during your working years. Studies find that the biggest fear of retirees is running out of money. Market volatility isn't just the downward movement of stock prices, it's the size and frequency of change. The more dramatic the ups and downs, the higher the volatility. This can put savers who are newly retired or a few years away from being retired at greater risk. Today's generation of retirees is not receiving traditional pensions as our parents or grandparents did. Instead, we have retirement accounts such as 401ks or 403bs. These accounts typically expose your money to market risk. The last thing you want right before retirement is to lose a portion of the money you need for income. But how do you turn these accounts into a retirement income? Is it safe to keep all your retirement money sitting in the stock market? The last thing you want is to lose a portion of the money you need for income due to market loss. By working with a financial professional, you can learn how to turn a portion of your savings into an income stream for life and income for the life of your spouse if you're married. We all have moments in our lives when we wish we had taken action sooner. Don't let procrastination rain on your retirement parade. Act now before it's too late. Please call our office to set up your no-cost, no-obligation retirement income review today. Welcome back, everybody, to Just Ask Freeman. I'm your host, Paul Gebhardt, with my guest today, Mr. Freeman Owen, Jr. Uh, listen, Freeman, I got to tell you, I, the information you deliver, it's just incredibly powerful. And, and you had mentioned earlier something that just resonates with my heart, having kids myself, mm -hmm. you know, someday, hopefully, they're going to have grandkids, right? All right. Uh, I'm concerned a lot of schools just really don't teach about financial planning and literacy and, and understanding, right? Right. They do not. Um, as I mentioned before, you, you can have your master's, your PhD, or whatever. Yeah. And even elementary school on up, we're not taught estate planning. Mm. Where's the course in that? Yeah. Retirement planning. How much will you need? What are some of the uh, the what are some of the, oh even goals? Simple goals. Yes. Uh, during your journey to retirement. Uh, I had mentioned, you had a question, or I should say, you had a comment when I mentioned the fact that uh, these kids don't have the financial literacy available yeah. to them. Yeah, so I wanted to ask you this. Mm -hmm. I mean, just yeah. straight out. Because there's good people out there, the grandparents, mm -hmm. parents planning for their retirement. They'd like to get help with their kids. I mean, do you offer things to help people with their kids and their financial planning, getting them ready to mm -hmm. be thinking about retirement and things they should be doing? Yes, as a matter of fact, I do annual reviews, as well as financial literacy webinars for young people. Okay. All right. I specifically ask uh, the uh, clients to come to the office, or we're doing virtual. I ask them, do you have children? And one of the, one of the things I ask about children is, I say, are they dependent 
codependent or independent. <laughs> <laughs> and one of the gentlemen, he was on, uh, on the virtual, he says, well, all of the above. <laughs> right. Okay. Well, let me tell you this, Paul. I specifically asked for the young folks, mm -hmm. the children, adult children, and the grandchildren to come to some of the annual uh, reviews. Really? Yeah, to pick up the language, to, to, to uh, get an understanding like, hmm, yeah. Grandma and granddaddy are preparing for retirement. Yes. Uh, they are sitting there socially distanced or at, before the pandemic. It's pre, but even virtually, set up the screen. But you know what's great about that too, Freeman? Mm -hmm. I'm sorry to interrupt you, you but I got, and it makes so much sense to me, you know, because we're talking about a legacy that their grandparents and parents are building for them. There you go. And they want to make sure they're making continually good decisions so they have that financial nest egg for their lifetimes too. Exactly. That just makes good sense. It makes sense because you want to have, you want to carry on legacy. Mm. We're going to do a, a, a big piece on legacy okay. for children, oh, non-spouses. Wow. Uh, such as children, grandchildren, and how our retirement distribution to the, to the legacy of our loved ones that are non-spouses has been impacted. We will save that for another show. Oh, that's but good. But in answer to your question, it's a great idea to have these kids. I remember pre-pandemic uh, and now, I set up the screen. The kids ask, uh, is my granddaddy's uh, assets, are, will they be safe? Do you charge fees? What is a 12B1? You know, they, <laughs> <laughs> you know, they be asking and yeah. they're, and they're getting, uh, you know, not all uh, grandparents and parents are computer literate. Yeah. Well, I'm on Zoom. Um, would you help me with my email so I can get in? Yeah. And so those kids are there. They're learning because I take the time and address their questions yeah. that they have for their parents. Yeah. And so they're learning. And in my experience, folks, I have helped not only the grandparents, but their adult children mm. and their grandchildren Love that. Uh, over a 40-year period Love and help that. them in their retirement plan. Yeah, that so just makes sense. It makes plenty of sense. And if you want to know more, folks, just ask Freeman. Call us uh, for your complimentary consultation uh, and learn more about the type of income that's getting back to the, the initial uh, uh, topic. How much money will I need? Hmm. How much will I need? Good question. For my retirement journey. Mm. How much, and some folks are concerned about legacy. Yeah. Will my children be able to continue on with the monies that I've left them yeah. over a lifetime? Yeah, and right. let's keep in mind, legacy isn't just after you pass away. We're talking about living legacy, too. Living, yes, indeed. Just as important, right? Yes, indeed. It hey, is. listen, we're going to take a quick break here in a second. But, again, that complimentary review, there's only 10 spots available, folks. He's making this available to you and your family to be able to come in and get that plan. Have your plan reviewed to make sure that your legacy is intact, to make sure that your generations are going to be fine for generations to come, and get the knowledge, the knowledge, the real value, because what's it worth? It's worth everything. Just ask Freeman, 833-414-7233. We're going to take a quick break. We'll be right back after these questions, after these messages. Unexpected events like a global pandemic can turn our world upside down overnight. They can cause volatile shifts in the market and may cause you to question the confidence in your current retirement plan. As a pre-retiree or retiree, knowing you have a plan that can withstand the worst economic conditions can help you sleep at night. Contact us today for your complimentary review to find out where you stand. Just ask Freeman. Call us at 833-414. 7233. We're frequently asked where we think tax rates are headed. Most experts agree tax rates will eventually have to go up as our federal debt increases. Without any changes, the government's current plan is set to expire in 2025. Every penny counts, especially in your retirement. Is your current plan efficient and optimized to reduce your tax obligation? Contact us today. Just ask Freeman for a complimentary review. Reach us at 833-414-7233.
Welcome back, everybody, to Just Ask Freeman. I'm your host, Paul Gephardt, with my special guest today, Mr. Freeman. Owen Jr. And as, if you didn't know, yes, this is unscripted. <laughs> so uh, yeah, we're it. just having a good conversation here to help the good people of the DC area, aren't we? Mm -hmm. Yes, we are. And uh, it's basically from the heart yeah. and experience and, and, and with the retirement mm. uh, planning and uh, if it's, say, estate planning, we have a consortium of attorneys that will take care of living trusts, mm. uh, power of attorneys, uh, uh, advanced directives. See, I'm not uh, I don't give legal advice, but folks say, well, is there a good attorney that where I can set up a trust fund? Yes, we can bring that into the team. Um, is there a good tax person uh, that would help us uh, with our uh, federal taxes, payroll taxes? Mm, that's so or important. Or income taxes, yes. So important. It's important. So it's good to have, to have the reach in to, to have other professionals to come in to help yeah. and aid on... Uh, your retirement or estate planning process. Yes. Okay. Because it's all connected. Yeah, it what is. We're getting at it here, is. right, Freeman? It is. I mean, your estate plan has to be in order. Your tax plan has to be in order. Everybody has to be in communication to make sure that nest egg is preserved. Exactly. That's what, That's what we need there. Yeah. You know, we were talking about uh, establishing how much money we will need during retirement. Yeah. Yeah, uh, how much? <laughs> see, that's where we do the assessment. Mm. Our software, uh, we, we plug in the numbers, look at all types of possibilities. Mm -hmm. Where, what happens? What would happen if we didn't pay this auto debt off hmm. in a, in, in, a uh, uh, in a certain period of time? And we've already retired, and we're putting out about five or six hundred bucks a month for for the note. Then there's maintenance and so on. You say, hmm, what if we free that auto loan up? Mm additional income. Yes. All right. Money we could possibly invest in. Exactly. What about credit card debt? Mm. Why don't we eliminate that? All right. Those 50s and 100s add up. Yes, and it's do. substantial when you, you've retired and you see that extra 1000 or $1,200 a month going out. Well, folks, we'll assist you. Mm. As a matter of fact, <clears throat> when you become a client, uh, we've done your rollover to your own IRA. All right. And we also helped you because you had that book, The Ten IRA Mistakes, and how to avoid the tax tracts mm -hmm. that are associated with it. Yeah. I put a lot of emphasis on getting debt uh, out the way. Uh, I, I always tell my wife, I say, well, Carolyn, there's no romance without finance. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have it. You yeah. have to have some funds in this retirement. But it's, it, I, let's, let's talk about that for a second. Mm -hmm. Can we do that? Because yeah. that's another thing, folks. Mm -hmm. Boy, I say, Paul, you know, we, we do, you, I see your shows. It's incredible information, and, but it's always about money, 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 right? Money, mm -hmm. money. But guess what? To your point, what area of your life doesn't involve finances? Exactly. It touches every, every aspect of our lives. Exactly. Right? Mm -hmm. Healthcare? Healthcare. How are you going to do that without money? All righty. There you go. Right? Yeah. College education for kids? How are you going to do that without money? Right? Yeah. So we've got to address these things. So I, I just really appreciate you doing that for everybody. I want to come back to debt real quick, if mm -hmm. I can. Yes, Freeman, sure. Mm -hmm. Because you'd mentioned that. And I think that's fascinating because a lot of folks don't tie that in. Mm -hmm. But it makes sense because a lot of good people out there say, Paul, you know, this is great, but I really can't contribute more to my 401k mm -hmm. because I have. Yeah. Debt. See, uh, that's, that's a dilemma. Yes. Okay. Uh, when you have a tremendous amount of debt, and, and you, uh, I mentioned this too, you can have an employer-sponsored retirement account. Yeah. And we had talked about that 10 to 15 or more percent, or I said 10% to 15%, 20% of yes. your income. There's a discipline that must be exercised. Yes. Uh, you know, you can hurt for a short period of time, but that, you carry that debt out there with those minimum payments, you're hurting a long, long time. You bet. So... Getting rid of, here's the steps. Want to be a good saver? First, let's rid the debt. Mm. Basics, let's save some money. Just savings for unexpected expenses. Mm. If you are uh, contributing to your employer sport, uh, retirement account at this point, yeah. all right, and you're preparing for retirement now, Contribute to larger percentages. All right? 
uh, because see, you've got now you've got your savings for unexpected expenses for mm -hmm. emergencies. You you are have cleared the debt. Yes, the table is cleared. Mm -hmm. All right, freed up some money. Freed freed up a lot of money. Mm -hmm. All right, the next step <clears throat> is get from the, under the auspices of the employer sponsored retirement restrictions. Mm -hmm. It's great to go into them. I wonder, I say, do you all really own them? No, you, yeah. you, that's the employer, and you're putting your, you're contributing. Now you're doing, if you're coming out, or if you got what we call the age-based transfer, mm. you're 59 and a half, still employed, you can do a direct rollover to your own IRA and still contribute to the employer-sponsored retirement accounts, 401K, TSPs, 403Bs, 401Ks, mm -hmm. all right? So you, you've lined up your ducks right. All right, now, I've helped you get that straight. Now, we're ready for distribution. I'm emphasizing distribution. Here comes what? Consider your health mm. for retirement. Yes. What about your parents? Did, uh, did they have health issues that right. maybe they didn't live as long? Mm -hmm. Uh, do you have health issues which will cost you health care costs increase along with inflation? Yeah. Uh, so you look at life expectancy. All righty. How long will I live? How much money do I need? If you have anywhere between a quarter of a million, half a million, a, a million plus in income producing assets, just call or just ask Freeman. Call us at 833-414-7233 and get your complimentary consultation. Yes. Now, Paula, you, you, now, you know, I, I've been loving doing these shows. Me too. I tell you. Me too. But when the clock on the wall says, it's time. It's, it's time, right. <laughs> it's time. And, 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 and I love that you said that because it is time. It's time for you. Freeman, this has been fantastic. The phones are going crazy. There's mm -hmm. only a few spots available, folks. So please, please, pick up the phone. Take action today. Get one of those spots for you and your future. Let Freeman be the guide that you look for. Think about your life. It's all about the relationships you've made. No man is an island. Your spouse, look at that relationship. Your best friend. Who's your guide in retirement? Who's your guide in retirement? The vacation of a lifetime. 833-414-7233. Just ask my friend Freeman here. Listen, tomorrow's bright because of what you do today. We want to thank you so much for being with us. Be well and enjoy your retirement.